Hi guys, this video is on A-level geography and I'll be going through erosional landforms which include potholes, rapids, waterfalls, gorges and meanders. Potholes are round, circular shaped holes on exposed bedrock found in the upper course of a river. Eddying and turbulent flow, carrying a load, gets inside this hole. Sediment accumulates within naturally occurring small depressions on the rock surface on the riverbed. Turbulent flow swirls the stones around in these depressions and therefore widen and deepen them through the prolonged process of abrasion acting as a grindstone. As you should know, abrasion is a form of erosion. This process is known as pothole drilling. They are formed most effectively at times of high velocity and discharge. As vertical erosion is the dominant process, potholes tend to be formed well above the base level where potential energy is very high. And if you want to use a case study for this, you can refer to the River Taff in Glam Morgan. Rapids are areas along the river course where water becomes more turbulent. They are caused when there are bridges of resistant and less resistant rock. The ridges of soft rock are eroded by hydraulic action and abrasion and therefore creating an uneven surface, creating white water rapids. You want to use a case study for this, you can use the Grand Canyon in the United States of America. Waterfalls are formed when there is a ridge of more resistant rock above less resistant rock. The flow of water transports by traction and saltation and performs hydraulic action and abrasion, eroding the lower less resistant rock much more creating a step down. This step down creates a plunge pool and therefore makes the rock and debris swirl around in this plunge pool. In the pool the rocks perform abrasion and thus erode backwards making a steep waterfall and therefore if this process is prolonged we get a really big um, a really big waterfall like in Niagara Falls and that is the case study you can use Niagara Falls in Canada. A gorge may be formed as a waterfall retreats upstream eroding the rock away at the base of the river valley or alternatively it may be caused by rejuvenation when the river begins to cut down into its channel because of a fall in sea level. As the water enters the meander, it is faster on the outside edge because it is deeper and has a larger hydraulic radius, so there is less friction acting upon the water. On the inside bend of the meander, it is shallower and has a smaller hydraulic radius, so more friction from the river's bed and bed load act upon the water, slowing it down. On the outside of the bend, a steep river cliff or bluff forms where the processes of hydraulic action and abrasion get to work, eroding the outside bend. As the, as the velocity slows on the inside of the bend, critical deposition velocity is often reached and deposition occurs. This creates a point bar or a slip-off slope. The helicoidal flow of the river causes the river to move laterally across the floodplain.